Well, hello everyone, it's Evan here. It's my absolute pleasure to speak to you today on what is an absolute perfect day here. I'm in my front yard in case you're wondering. Uh, I'm keeping in mind that, you know, keep that separation uh, as the government's instructed. But isn't it great just to be able to get outside, get a little bit of fresh air and um, yeah, make the most of this time at home. You know, in amongst all the bad news that we've been seeing around the world, I just want to share with you a little bit of hope. And in case you're wondering why am I doing this? Well, uh, first of all, good news is always good news. Why, why wouldn't we want to see something about that? But as Pastor Garth mentioned, he's looking for a familiar faces in our church community to be able to share updates. It can be prayer, it could be worship, it could be good news like what I'm about to share and we'll be shoulder tapping a few people from throughout our church community to be sh to share something like that uh, with our church and we're going to put it on Facebook so it's my pleasure to do that now I you know in amongst all the bad news that we've been seeing around COVID-19 I want to share some hope you know about a week ago we uh, shared this article online called uh, 30 encouraging quotes during from the Bible during the COVID-19 outbreak now I'll be honest I didn't know what type of reception we'd receive from this or even if someone would notice but uh, excuse the pun it went viral it's been shared far and wide uh, in fact it's it's reached every continent on earth and Obviously, the, the common countries that, that you might guess, like the US and Australia, but also other places like Ecuador and Italy and Spain and uh, even Myanmar, Colombia, and the list just goes on and on. And I'm so encouraged by this. It's been s such an encouragement, in fact, that we've uh, translated the article into Italian and uh, Spanish just to get the message out there and uh, while those stats are great and they really are and and at its peak we've had about 1200 percent increase in website traffic and it's been viewed 8,000 times um, despite all those stats you know I'm just encouraged with the thought that somewhere across the globe someone might be searching they, they they might remember the Bible from their childhood, the Christian faith from you know eons ago, or maybe they don't know Christ at all, and they're searching for hope online. And this article is coming up in their time of need. And I've heard a couple of testimonies. We give an option for people to share their feedback, and um, we've been inundated with people liking the post, and we can see those stats. But can you imagine that there's just maybe someone somewhere who's reaching out they're, they're calling out to God and they're looking at these quotes and maybe sharing them with family and friends you know that's what motivates me and we've if you have a look at the article and I encourage you to do so we've even got on there an opportunity for them to learn more about Jesus and a link through to a page that explains a little bit of that um, but that's what it's all about we're, we're trying to we're trying to share hope in a broken world so it's my pleasure to be able to share that with you and hopefully that's an encouragement for you today. Bless you.